<laughs> okay, look it up. Oh, oh yes, there he is. Jarrell Jerome. Uh, you, he played your brother, Corey Wise, on yeah. When They See Us. He won an Emmy. Uh, must was a great experience working with him. Yeah. Well, tell me about something we don't know about that process and yeah. your guys' interaction. So I'll tell you the moment uh, that he won the Emmy at the after party. We went to the Netflix after party. And it was a moment where he had the Emmy in his hand and everybody was dancing. It was him, Corey, the real Corey Wise, and me. And I have this picture on my page, I believe. And I'm just like sweating because it's hot and we're dancing and like it's emotional and it's like we're celebrating him and he's celebrating Corey and Corey celebrating me. And I'm, I was just like, wow, like it was another moment where it's like, oh, I'm in this moment too. Like I'm watching it, but I'm here and I'm a part and they're making me feel like I'm a part. I remember uh, that as, it was just nice to feel like you belong in, a, in an environment that's nothing LGBT. You know, my storyline was the only LGBT storyline in the project. And they just have this black trans girl just here celebrating, holding an Emmy with them. And it was such a small thing, but for me it was just, it was such a moment and he's just so deserving. And yeah, it was just awesome. I just really enjoyed the moments that we got to just be goofy together. I bet. Now yeah. also, you know, uh, I didn't really put it together that the real Corey Wise would be at the Emmys with you guys. That's incredible. That yeah. must have been an even more emotional layer to everything yeah. because the people whose story you told are here watching you tell it and watching it be honored. I remember, uh, so it was a special for When They See Us after it came out, right after that Oprah hosted. It was like where, uh, When They See Us Now on Netflix. Right, yeah. And I was in the audience for that because they had like the, the Exonerated Five up there and the guys that played them. Uh, young and old, and I remember I went to get some water, and when I came back, it was right when they were about to introduce the actual Exonerated Five, and I just went up, and it was different because when I saw them at the rap party, they didn't know who I was, but this time they did, and I just went through, and I just gave them all, like, a hug, and they was just so all excited to see me, and it was just, it's just something about seeing these black men and men of color, like, just embrace me in and, and a, like, we're proud of you type of way. And I'm just like, I'm proud of you guys. You know, like, I, it was just such a moment. And when I got to Corey, he was the last person, and he just grabbed my face, and he just said, beautiful. And he's a man of not many words, but he just said, beautiful. And he just gave me a hug and a kiss on my cheek, and I literally, like, started crying. Oh. I, I was just like, wow, I'm just glad I made him proud. And, yeah, it's just it's such an important story, and I was just glad that these men just embrace me in that way. It's yeah. something so simple, but... No, it's, but it's, it's, in, it's that's something era. that really needs to happen. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at her. Oh, ah, MJ. Another star <laughs> of Pose. You were also at the Emmys yes. together. <laughs> uh, it's funny because uh, sometimes I would get like, oh, Isis, you did so good on Pose. And I'm like, that's MJ. <laughs> right. You know, um, that's like, you know, she's like a little sister. You know, whenever I see her, she's so shy. She reminds me so much of myself, especially like me during Top Model, when I was just so shy. And she's such a such a strong actor and such a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. Like she can really, really. I just remember that. Deliver, yeah. deliver, boy, deliver, deliver, deliver. I can't sing, but you sound pretty good to me. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But yeah, I love her. She was like, you know, we need to find a way to get you. I'm, I want to, we need to play sisters. Yeah. Can you imagine two young trans sisters that mm -hmm. like transition together? Oh, yes. That's a story yeah. to tell that has not been told. <laughs> um, yeah, she, she's so talented and I'm just so proud. And I'm so proud to see a girl that reminds me of me. Someone who's compassionate and uh, she seems very empathic and so sweet and so humble. And I just love to see people like that get opportunities because it just reminds me that like you can be kind and make it to the top. And sometimes I feel like that's overlooked for people who will do anything to get to the top. And, and sometimes it's the road less traveled, which is what I've realized for me. Um, but yeah, she even inspires me to just see her smile and, and still, even after the success of Pose, seems so humble. Like, that's so beautiful to me. All right, look at her.
Miss uh, Ava DuVernay, <laughs> the director of When They See Us, an incredible director in general. You already know I'm obsessed with Ava. Yeah. Like, uh, she's so... Uh, she texted me, like, recently, when, when uh, right before Juneteenth happened, she texted me, and I looked. It was, like, 3.45 in the morning. She said, I didn't see your name on this list. You need to read it and sign. And I was like... Well, it was like right before, and, and it was a list of um, black artists and like what we will and won't do anymore, like mm. just stand firmly uh, in celebration of Juneteenth. And it was a list of a lot of people, a lot of people in the industry, like people, Ava, Nisi, you know, like so many big names. And when I saw that text, I was like, Ava, you didn't see that? Like, <laughs> my name? Like, what you looking for? Back? Like, me? Like, and this was like literally like a few weeks ago. And it was just such a small moment. And I'm just like, I just really appreciate her. She does little things that she don't have to, you know, and, and she's really is a, appreciated. She doesn't do it. She doesn't do things for you to just talk about it. Or she doesn't do things for people to just sell it. She does it because she really cares. And she really wants to see change for her people and just in general. And I just am happy that I, I know her and I got to work with her. And hopefully I get to work with her again. Hopefully the DC Project, Ava, you hit me up because I'm trying to be a superhero, supervillain. Just let me know when you want me to have the room. Um, yes, honey. <laughs> I, you know I still am waiting for you to play Storm. Uh, I mean, I, as much as I love, you know, Storm is my favorite character. Yep. I'm just too light. Uh-huh. I'm too like I would love to see someone like Anna Deep or Ooh. or someone like that, but a characters that I would love to play in X-Men is Vertigo, who I always talk about, or Spiral, who I never see Spiral be used. And she has six arms. I think she I posted on my page recently. She's gorgeous. She does a lot of twirling. So you know, no cis women twirl that much. <laughs> She's trans. Yes. Yeah, so honey. um I would love I would love to be one of those characters. You know, everybody I don't think nobody talks about superheroes and supervillains or just comics as much as me. And I can't wait. I know it's gonna happen and and I just can't wait for it to happen. So we'll see. We'll see how it come to fruition, but I mean, I'm thankful. I always just say like, however it's gonna happen, I'm thankful already. Yeah. Look at her. <gasps> Tyra, <gasps> now you've said so many things about Tyra, yeah. but uh, you know, what's one thing that we might not know about Tyra? <sighs> one thing that you might not know, I don't know. I feel like y'all might know more about Tyra than me. <laughs> um, well, we know she smells good, and Tyra, we know that you guys worked together just recently. Yes, we worked together just recently for a secret photo shoot for hers. Um, I can't say much about that. I don't know when right. it's going to happen. But I, you did get to interact with her one-to-one yeah. -one in a way that oh. you never did before. Okay, let me tell you. I get there, and it's, I, I took the picture with me, Takara, and Allison. It was one other top model there, but they weren't in any pictures, so I don't want to say. But I get there, and I, it's like a house. And I walk in, and uh, uh, Kim Kimball, who's a famous like, hairstylist, she's sitting there doing Tyra's hair at the like inside of the room. And I walk by, I was like, she was like, hey, I says, I was like, hey, oh, like Tyra's in hair and makeup, like right there, you know, which is usually the host. You don't, right. we only see her like stamped. Yeah. And that, that really set the tone for the day. It was very like family, you know, it was very like, y'all come look at these images, come look at this, what do y'all think? Like it was, it was so many years ago, top model, but it was just so one of those moments where I just felt so giddy, like to be on this side, to be in such a high pressure environment and then to flip it and to be looking at images with her. Like you never see that. They just pick your best shot or ones they tell you are. Uh. So, you know, <laughs> you, we don't have that. And like, even at one point uh, I was posing and she was like, oh, I want you to, I don't want to give anything away. I want you to hold this. So like here, and like she moved my hair and she's putting it here and she's looking back and she, and I was like, and I'm sitting there like, Tyra, I've always been waiting for this moment. You know, like you, you always see the girls further along where she take the picture and she's like styling them and I never got to that point. So it was so many years ago, but it's like this little moment, something so small just made me feel like I was 22 again on Top Model, like living my fantasy with this supermodel um, styling me or like taking my pictures and stuff, you know, it was, it was nice. It was really cool. And we literally were there all day long. 
we did some different looks and yeah, it was nice to see her like talk about her flaws. Like, oh, I wanna, I wanna cover this, I wanna cover this. Like, oh, you never just see that. You always just see them be so perfectly statuesque and cut this out like nobody knows this and that. And it was just nice to see her be just a regular person. Yeah, well, it's supermodel and supermodel because you certainly are a supermodel now, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you, Isis, for being here. Thank so you, great Johnny. to see you. It's so proud of so what good. you're doing. And you know, we always got your back, honey. I appreciate it. I had so much fun once again. Can't wait to see what next time we, we talk and see what I've done. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm on my second series regular. I got this <laughs> yes. and that. I got married. No. <laughs> thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen and look at her. Hit it. See you next time. Get out of here, camera. Get. Look at her. Look at her.